What's up guys, this is David from How To Ghost, and today I'm gonna show you how to upload a theme onto DigitalOcean. So since DigitalOcean is a full server that's running Ghost, there isn't an easy way to just click a button and upload a theme and have it do all sorts of magic for you. What we need to do is we need to upload it to the server and then restart Ghost and then Ghost will pick it up. So there's two ways to upload to the server. One is via FTP and the other is via command line. So I'm gonna show you how to do both. So I'm gonna go ahead and upload our How To Ghost um, theme and you can see that I have the default caster running here just launched this droplet and so to do it via terminal I'm already on my desktop that's where I download the the theme to so you can see I have the how to ghost theme right here so we're gonna use a command called SCP so we're gonna do SCP dash R meaning grab all the contents of the folder and then we want to do how to ghost because that's the folder we want to send and then now we need to tell it where to send so we're going to need to log into the server. So it's going to be root at and then the server IP, which is 159.203.114.254. And this will probably be a web URL for you instead of an IP address. We just don't have a domain set up. So we're using the IP. So that'll send it to the server, but we want to tell it where in the server to send. So to do that, you add a colon at the end and then do slash var slash www slash ghost content themes and then put a period at the end to say hey just put it here so that's saying um, go ahead and take the folder that I have locally log in as root and then drop the theme in that path which is where ghost is living on the server so and hit enter and it'll start that transfer once you type in your password so you can see that's starting there so I'll, I'll let that go and I'll show you the other way to do it which is FTP so download a FTP client. I'm using CyberDuck on Mac. There's other options for Windows. Um, to open connection, we want to do SFTP. The server is the same, 159.203.114.254. Again, that's probably going to be your URL, not the actual IP. Either one will work, but URLs are just easier. User, root, password is your password. And then for path, you want to do slash var www ghost because let's just have it take us right to the path we want to go to. Let's go ahead and hit connect and it'll show your ghost blog and then where we want to drop it is content, themes, you can see here's the one I just uploaded, it just finished um, so why don't I go ahead and rename it And then let's upload a second one. So click on themes, action, upload, how to goes to. Type in your credentials if it asks, and now it's gonna start uploading that. So what I did here is I just made a duplicate folder um, or a duplicate copy of the theme so I didn't have to overwrite it. So now it's uploading goes to. So now you can see we have already have ghost, we have the default Casper, and then it's working on the second ghost. So once this is done, which will be in just a couple seconds, you're gonna log into your server and we need to restart ghost. So I'm logged into the server right here. You can see I'm already in the themes folder. Actually, before we need to restart, we need to make sure the, the permissions are correct. So if you do ls-al, It'll show you, see how the Casper theme is owned by Ghost, but the rest are owned by Root? That's actually going to be a problem because Ghost isn't going to be able to read that because he's the Ghost user isn't going to have permissions. So what we need to do is we need to change the user. So to do that, you do sudo chown for change user, I guess, dash r ghost ghost for ghost user, ghost group, and then how to ghost, and then how to ghost to. So now if you do ls-al, you'll see they're both owned by Ghost, and Ghost will have the permissions it needs. So from here, service restart ghost, which will restart your ghost blog. Service ghost restart, sorry. You can see ghost started and stopped. So now if we, re if we refresh the ghost admin, go to general, themes, you can see we have the first ghost one I did and the second one. So now if I change it, save, 
refresh the homepage, boom, there's your theme. So that's how you upload a theme. It's a little bit more complicated than some other hosts like Ghost Pro, uh, but it's definitely something you can do via FTP or via terminal. It's pretty easy, one command, or if you FTP in, you can kind of drag and drop and use it all that way. So that's all we got for this video. Uh, if you like, feel free to subscribe if you'd like. We come out with new videos on Ghost every Wednesday. And I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching.